This chest belongs to Moncha H of India, uses 47 inches of tape measure. What's up guys, today we're going to be talking about a legendary Indian bodybuilder called Manohar Aich. The channel has absolutely blown up over the past couple of days, so before we get into it, I just want to give a quick warm welcome to all my new subscribers. Actually, there are a lot of Indians watching this channel now, which I'm very happy about because you guys have a very interesting and rich history with bodybuilding. So welcome to all my new Indian friends. I hope you enjoy this video about the incredible Manohar Aich. Manohar is one of the most inspiring examples of longevity in natural bodybuilding. He was born in 1912 and when he was just 12 years old he got a severe case of black fever. Thankfully he survived the illness but it left him very weak and fragile. So in order to regain his strength he started exercising. There were no gyms in his area so his early training consisted mainly of calisthenics. Manohar would perform hundreds of squats, pull-ups, and push-ups. One day, while he was in school, he met a magician called P.C. Sorkar. This man recognized Manohar's potential and recruited him to join his show, called Physique and Magic. During these shows, Manohar would display his incredible strength by bending steel rods with his teeth and ripping up giant books with his bare hands. In 1942, he joined the Royal Air Force, where a British officer once again recognized his potential and introduced him to weight training. This is when Manohar would start to become a bodybuilder, though not before landing himself in prison. You see, in the 1940s, there was a fierce independence movement in India, and Manohar, being the patriot that he was, slapped a British officer who was making rude comments about Indian independence. This got him court-martialed and locked up, but being the badass that he was, not even prison could stop him from training. He didn't have any equipment available to him, but he went back to his roots and trained calisthenics, sometimes up to 12 hours per day. He finally got released in 1947 once India gained its independence. Upon his release, Manohar fully immersed himself into bodybuilding and went on to win his first title in 1950 at the age of 38. This competition was called Mr. Hercules and it was here where he earned the nickname Pocket Hercules due to his short stature. You see, Manohar was only 4 foot 11 or 150 centimeters tall. And by the way, as a side note here guys, just because this man was short takes absolutely nothing away from his accomplishments. I've seen so many comments talking about how easy short guys have it in bodybuilding, but come on man, it's not like these guys are born jacked. They need to put in just as much work as anyone else, so please keep the manlet comments to yourselves, okay? In 1952, Manohar would be crowned Mr. Universe, where finally his talents would be recognized on a world stage. Guys, there's so much more I could go into about this man. He lived a fascinating and incredibly long life. If you're interested, I highly encourage you to go read more about him. Finally, I would just like to touch on Manohar's unmatched longevity in the sport. This man went on to perform in bodybuilding shows into his 90s. He stayed in shape throughout his entire life and was going to the gym until the very end, even when he was over 100 years old. Manohar's diet consisted mainly of milk, fish, fruit, vegetables, and rice. He never touched tobacco, alcohol, or any kind of drug. And if you have any doubt as to whether this man was natural, please go ahead and find me a steroid user that lives to be 104. This is what a lifelong natural bodybuilder looks like, guys. Healthy, vibrant, strong, and jacked, even into old age. His physique wasn't built with chemicals, so he got to keep it for his entire life. All right, you wanna get your mind blown? This is possibly the craziest photo I've ever seen in bodybuilding. This right here. Guess how old this man is on your screen right now. Seriously, pause the video and post your guess in the comments. All right, you ready? Manohar is 90 years old in this photo. Nine zero, 90. 
How crazy is that? I mean, just think about the condition of most 70 or 80 year olds. They're usually frail and can barely even walk. Very few even make it to 90. But to look like this at that age is just ridiculous. This man truly is an inspiration to us all. Anyway, that's all I have for this video, guys. I really only scratched the surface of Manohar's life, so please do go look into him further if you're interested. Thank you for watching.